Hi friends, it's an exciting day. It is an ink flight day. Let's tear in. Um, I eagerly awaited this all day and it came just as like right after the 6 p.m. bells started ringing. So that's exciting. I have stuff under my nails. Okay, you know me, I don't want to look at the paper yet. We're going to open this. We're going to put away the samples and then pull out the stuff and pull out the other stuff and pull out this stuff and pull out this stuff. Holy cow, there's a lot of stuff in the box. Okay, first up, I'm looking at these, which are little ghosty monstery stickers. They're pretty cute. You know what? I might send these to my nibblings. Then we have a Halloween inspired inktopus. This one has that um, hockey mask face. I think that's Mike Myers, I'm not sure. And then like a little trick or treat thing with ink things and then a pen. Um, and then a pen loop, self adhesive, clever. And a notepad, like the kind that reporters have. So this says, uh, handy spiral bound notepad, jotting down lists, find convenient, made in the USA, 40 point letter press board stock, 120 pages of 70 pound paper stock, printed with vegetable based ink, stash in a pants pocket. Well, do we think a woman wrote that this could stash in a pants pocket? Because my thought is no. A man thought that. Um, his women's pants pockets are not this big. Source. I'm a woman. I make clothing. Uh, ruled format. Recipes, movies, books. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And we can put the pin loop on it. Love it, love it. These are, these stickers are by Midori Chat Monsters. Um, Cool. Exciting, and let's look at the inks. I didn't even look yet. Okay, first off, we're gonna save this because I'm gonna send out some samples to friends. I might be obnoxious right now, I don't care. Ooh, this looks like maybe it's a spooky set. Is that the theme? Ah! Oh no. These look like they're all Krishna inks. Yeah, that's exciting. Do I have any? I don't think I have any Krishna inks. Very exciting. I wonder if Manda already has these. Or uh, Dormouse. Because I think I've seen them use Krishna. Especially Dormouse. I know she did a bunch for 30 inks. So we have... Medical professional by day. Ink connoisseur by night. Dr. Sri Kumar is the mind behind Krishna Inks, a small ink manufacturing workshop based in Kerala, India. What started out as a hobby in 2010 has now become a passion appreciated by a worldwide audience. I'm going to apologize in advance. I don't know the rules of um, Indian name pronunciation, so I might get them wrong, and I apologize. Uh, I like to look these things up but you know this is all fly by the seat of our pants so let's pull off one two three four five six seven good job i can count to seven today so we have cassia flora cassia is a thing that nom 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 uh that you can eat. Bamboo shoots. Mountain breeze. This color by the vial looks like it's right up someone's alley. Mm -hmm. uh, summer blue. No. Golden summer blue. Mm -hmm. Got green. Sindor. And sailor's blue. Righteous. Okay. So what are, whatchamacallit? Look at how pretty this is. And we will start with 
Cassia Flora. So it says, along with bamboo shoots and mountain breeze, Cassia Flora is part of the spring 22 ink collection of shading colors. Cassia Flora has a chartreuse hue with tones of teal and reddish brown. I have a big old jug of water here, so when you hear the watery sounds, you know, you know by now. Unless this is your first time here, in which case, welcome! Uh, okay. What do we, how do we do these again? Okay. Uh, how do I ink? That was sloppy. Ooh. Um, chatting in comment land led me to think that what I should maybe do is for a 30 inks, do inks that I don't normally like. Why does that thought come to my mind? Hmm, I wonder. Could it be that these Interesting greens are not always my favorite. Why, yes. Yes, that could be the fact. Interesting. It looks like it's drying almost brown or like yellowy with a brown um, halo. I wonder now if Cassia has a, a yellowy flower. So that's Cassia Flora. Then we have bamboo shoots. Ooh, look at that, what that one it did on here though. That's interesting. So this is Described, described, Maria? Yep, it's described, everybody. A fresh, light green ink that shades with a bluish halo and clouds of ochre. Somebody had fun writing these. There's a great grammar book called Eat Shoots and Leaves that uh, comes to mind with this title. Wow. Uh, I didn't leave enough space. <sighs> we had to make something up. And I'm okay with what happened. I think that looks okay. Right? Right.
Maria, stop. You're not putting it there. As usual, I have a piece of uh, Tomoe River 52 GSM paper up there. I'm also swatching on. This is such a like lovely ripe green. Oh look, fingerprint resist. Do we care? I guess I did. Yeah, I see the clouds of ochre. Then we have Mountain Breeze. This one, not gonna lie, has Pete's name on it. Leave more space, Maria. Mm -hmm. I dipped this way too far. What was this writing, Maria, that you just thought you were going to do? Ugh, I hate everything about that. So how's your day going? Apparently, I ended my day feeling super critical of myself and everything. Um... <laughs> I had a good salad for lunch. May go have some potato chips. Perhaps that will turn my mood around. Turn the mood around. Um, what's that? Must have been on the side of the, but that. That's a bad thing. That is, that is lovely. Why did you close that? Well, because we felt like it, Maria. Um, this is a purpley purple. This is like grimace color, I think. Or like, if there was a crayon named purple. So I guess I would call that a royal purple because that tends to be what that color is. Mountain breeze. Now I have that song, summer breeze. Maria, you need to just like chill out, don't you? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then we have Golden Summer Blue. This is going to be like 20 lines to write. Introduced in the summer of 2022, this ink has a bluish purple base with a lustrous golden sheen. But not shimmer, right? This looks so saturated. Look, I do this and then like look at the vial. It's sticking to the side. By comparison. That's how you get colors to sheen, my understanding is. Oh, I'm worried about that. Oh, man. It's going to like... Let's try and dip this straight down. Do I actually get any ink on it? 
Okay, Maria, you're fired. Mm -hmm. This one seems hard to clean. Yeah, ooh, it's like sludgy. Beautiful sludge. I might like this. I don't know if I have any blues with a, a gold sheen. This is like inky. That's funny. To describe an ink color as inky. But look at it. It's like thick on this paper. Like you could stand a fork up in this ink. This is just never gonna dry. I'm gonna get it to run down a little. Holy cow. Maybe I'll water it down. Okay, next up. I gotta dab up this a little bit. I'm gonna take this little piece. Over here. Butter. Next up, got green. Or gat. If you know how it's pronounced, I'd love to hear from you. I didn't read about this, did I? Or the last one? No, it is. This lush olive green shades nicely. A fan favorite. I think it's funny when we describe things as like olive green. Olive come, olives come in so many different shades. Like Serignola versus Castle Vetrano versus, what are those ones that I'm thinking of? Nissoise, aren't those a type of olive? I mean, we, I feel like we all know what color is meant by olive green, but it's still a horrible word for it. That'd be like saying water blue, but what water? Because some water is like brown.
Okay. This kind of looks like a lot like uh, Cassia Flora, like a relative of it. I dig it. Then we have Sindor. And I looked this up and Sindor is the stuff that they make the Bindi with. They might have that terminology incorrect, but I mean, well, just like the road to hell. I am paved with good intentions. Um, okay. This is a bright red ink with wet flow, some shading, and a hint of sheen. Ooh, I did a perfect little dot. So round. I feel proud of that dot. The, uh, Sadia? No, that's a certain thing. I can't remember the name of it. Feel free to tell me in the comments the name of the dot on an eye, but I'll have looked it up by the time. However, it'll be a fun conversation starter. Did you know that it has a name? I both love and hate that little bit that goes off to the side. You know. Oh, well, instead of dipping my brush in water, I almost just drip, dipped it back into the ink. I, oh, I'm sure you all saw that. So this is described as a red ink, and it is, but I would describe it as more tomato red. So an orangey red. Then the last one here is Sailor's Blue. This seems like this might have my friend Cal's name on it. This, is this vivid blue ink is well saturated with a pop of magenta sheen. Don't you dare. I did. I got ink on it. Got a lot of ink on it. You know how like sometimes when you cut yourself you find out because you like f feel that your hands are like slippery, like wet, and you're like, oh, I must be bleeding. That's what just happened with the ink. <laughs> I was like, hmm, this feels slippery. Ah. Look, don't be like this, because I'm not. Yeah, well, we're done with you, okay? You have let me down for the last time today.
I am deeply frustrating myself. I wanted to go wash my hands after we're done because it's okay. Right? Right. I'm glad we agree, Maria. This is a pretty bluey blue. Ooh, yeah. Um... If you hear noises from outside, it's trash night. People taking out the bins. All right. So what I'm gonna do is line all these up in the correct order, leave them to dry. I'm gonna pause the film, filming, that's a word, and Take care of these filthy hands that are frustrating me for their filthiness. Um, so hopefully you see some difference when we come back because I'll have paused and it'll be like time has magically sped forward. We're back. Hands not totally clean, but much better. Some of my swatches still not dry. Most of my swatches still not dry, um, at least on the Tamoy rubber paper. So I'm gonna move these vials. I'm gonna put them back in the box for now so that they're out of my way. Oh no, you fell over. It hardly matters, Maria. Um, okay, we'll take a look at these. Sailor's Blue. You know I like to do this. Look at what inks it might remind me of. Not These aren't all in order. So, Sailor's Blue absolutely reminds me of... Nitrogen. It's a little bit lighter than Ice Rink. My Birmingham pins. I'm gonna come back here. I know you're here. You must be. I thought it might remind me of Michigan, but Michigan's mm, not quite the same. Sindor, I don't have anything like. Nor got green, nor this golden summer blue. This one is really interesting to me because, again, a blue with gold is, is unique to my experience. This mountain breeze. The closest I think I probably have is the Pure Pins Platinum Purple for Platinum Jubilee for... Queen. This is cooler. This has just a touch more warmth to it. Bamboo shoots reminds me of Sailor 767. Did I use that one in my thing? So, yeah, this is a cooler color. You can really see that in the writing. This is far warmer. Um, and I'm not going to compare to all of my... Like, that's all the comparisons I'm making. That's what I'm telling you right now. I don't want to do more comparisons. Maybe we can prevail upon Manda to do them for us. Now let's look at the Tamoa River paper. This is definitely still drying. You can really see the sort of, uh, how did they describe it? 
reddish brown and and this one um it's funny they described this as ochre but look i definitely you're not going to see i see pinks in here um i like how this purple on this paper and you can actually kind of see it here has a halo around it of a darker color and on Tomorrow River, it looks sort of like black. This, um, there, I think you can see the gold. Very metallic. The, the got green reminds me of pickles. Dill pickles. Or gherkins, if you're not in the U.S. Um, this is a lovely warm red. And again, sailor's blue. I think it's funny, like, sailor's blue, and then there's magenta shades, because that's like sailor's, sailor, and the whole, like, thing about red seas at night, sailor's delight, or whatever that thing is. Look, I don't know. So, <laughs> somebody needs to stop talking, and it's me. Here's our, here's our ink stuff flight for, for this month. Some Krishna inks. I'm really excited. I haven't used this brand before. I've looked at them and um, kind of managed to resist. Um, they seem to be good at, really good at colors that don't typically scream as favorites. They're, they have some really great blues that I feel like I have similar ones to. Like this Sailor's Blue is beautiful, but I do have similar ones. But like this Sindor, I know they have a, a bunch of oranges that are phenomenal um, that I don't own. These greens, though not my favorites, are glorious for what they are. Like this color kind of could make me a green lover. So that is our ink flight for this month. What are we in? October 2022. Thanks for hanging out with me, for dealing with my nonsense. I hope you're having a wonderful day whenever you see this. Bye.